Hi, welcome to the channel. I'm Jay, and this is R2 Cents, where we talk everything boxing and everybody's entitled to their own opinion. In today's video, we will be discussing Jerron Boots and his becoming the new email IBF champion. But before we do that, make sure you punch that like and subscribe button, and make sure you let me know and drop it below your two cents as we go throughout the video. So, the news drop, Terrence Bud Crawford would be stripped of the IBF belt and it would be in Jerron Boots Ennis will be elevated to IBF champion. Now, ever since this announcement has been made, it seems like the YouTube streets have been in an uproar and I'm not understanding it. First of all, let me say thank you to all of my new subscribers and people tuning in to the channel and, and, and watching videos. Thank you to all my day ones that have been here since the beginning, since I've been dropping these videos. Thank you for supporting by punching that like and subscribe button and leaving a comment below. Listen, if you're new to the channel, I just want to let you know this is an interactive channel. I'm interested in everybody's perspective and opinions. So whether you agree with me, disagree with me and i don't even like to use the term disagree so whether you agree with me or you have a different perspective please let me know and drop it below in the comment section the way the logarithm works the more comments and likes i have the more the video will be pushed out the more people will be able to see it and watch it and the more people will be able to join in on the conversation this is an interactive channel i want to know what people think i don't want everybody on my channel that agree with me i, I don't want any of that out listen let me know and drop it below your perspective about what I'm saying as I go throughout the video. Make sure you follow me on IG at Two Cents Boxing and make sure you follow me on X at Two Cents 20. All right, back to what I was saying. So the boxing streets have been in an uproar about Jerron Boots Ennis becoming champion. And I don't understand it. Listen, if if you are are outraged or upset or feel a little indifferent i mean i know outrage or upset of some extreme emotions but you know what i mean let me know and drop it below what what the problem is what your perspective is about the situation why do you think that jerron boots and it shouldn't have got elevated tim zoo got elevated they took the belt from charlo and handed it to tim zoo do you know why they took the belt from charlo and handed it to tim zoo because charlo did not fight tim zoo Tim Zhu has been waiting and waiting and waiting to fight Charlo. And Charlo went off and did something else. Some people will say Charlo ducked Tim Zhu. I beg to differ. If I'm going to fight for more money, that's not a duck. That's business. That's business. Like Charlo said, he busy. That was so funny to me. But anyway. So why no, nobody's in the uproar about Charlo getting stripped and the belt given to Tim Zhu? See... I just, I don't think this is a big deal as everybody making it out to be. And then you got Mike Coppinger, oh, uh, putting a tweet up, Darren Crawford was stripped of the IBF belt, and, and Earl Spence got to have the belt for five years, and, and he never had to do, listen, listen, I don't even know why they're trying to cause the dissension. Like, why are they doing it? Because this is not that big of a deal. Because my two cents, I don't think Terrence Crawford is fighting at 47 anymore. I think Terrence Crawford is done with 47. I think the rematch is going to be at 154. What is the big deal? They're not going to let Terrence Crawford rip and run around with these belts for quote-unquote leverage. So he can try to leverage fights and get more money in a whole different weight class. No, we're not about to let you do that. He's already said he's not fighting boots. He said he's, he said it. It's low risk, low high. Uh, is is is. High risk, low reward, who he fought, he ain't fought nobody, he ain't earned a fight, and all of this stuff. And I don't understand why do I have to earn a fight if I'm your mandatory. See, Crawford and his team, they were saying these things. I mean, and this no slight. Like I said in my last video, y'all go watch it. I don't think Terrence Crawford needs to fight Boots. He doesn't need to fight Boots to, to prove anything. My last video, Terrence Crawford stripped of IBF belt. Go look at that video. In that video, I said 
I don't think Terrence Crawford need to fight Boots. He don't have to prove anything. Terrence Crawford, I mean, Boots is a whole other generation of fighters. It would be great if he fought him. It would be a good fight. It would be good for boxing. But I don't think he has to fight him. And obviously, he don't think he got to fight him either because he said he wasn't. So they just took the belt and gave it to him. So Boots ain't fought nobody. Boots has 30 fights. See, it's, it's one thing when you say somebody ain't fought nobody and it's people available for them to fight, but they're just not making the fights and, and sitting back like, oh, nobody want to fight me. Or it's one thing for the business of boxing to keep getting in the way, which is the problem I think Shakur Stevenson is having, where they're not uh, paying the fighters to fight you. They're not paying them a, a, a good enough amount. The business ain't just working out, right? That's a whole nother thing. But it's a whole nother, other, other thing when I'm out here trying to fight people and they literally are just refusing to fight me. Now, I'm not sure if it's a money situation. And this is with Showtime. I don't think it's a money situation. I don't think they lowballing fighters. I think for whatever reason, and we don't know what that reason is, but I guarantee you I'm going to dig into it to find out. They don't want to fight Boots. They don't want to fight Boots. Even Terrence Crawford don't want to fight Boots. Not saying he ducking or he's scared or any of that. Because do I think Boots can beat Terrence Crawford? I don't know. If, if, if Terrence Crawford's going to look from now on how he looked in that Earl Spence fight, I don't know who can beat Terrence Crawford, to be honest with you. I don't know who could beat Terrence Crawford, to be honest with you. If, if, if he going to come in there how he came in there. You get what I'm saying? But I digress. So, what is the big deal? Let me know and drop it below. What is the outrage about? Bernie the Boxer said they threw the belt in the trash. And then he proceeded to talk down on Jerron Boots Ennis as if this man has done something wrong. Bozy said earlier in the year, either they going to fight him or he, they going to get stripped and the belt going to go to Boots. They already knew what was up. They, he said either they're going to fight him or they're going to give him a belt. It was coming. This should have been expected. So there's no need to try to clown Boots and say he an email champ and this and that. If this is how boxing goes, it's obviously in the rules. Why are you trying to downplay me? Because I'm because they the, the sanctioning bodies is following their own rules, guys. So, I mean, I know it's cool. Uh, it's, it makes for great content. You know, once again, we keeping Terrence's name in the media. Listen, the man, is a the, the man is a genius. Like, his name is constantly coming up. People constantly talking about him. And I think that's great for Terrence Crawford. I think that's great for Terrence Crawford. I think that's great for the rematch with him and Spence. But I don't think there's no need to take shots at Spence and say, Spence, oh, Spence had the IBF belt for this long. Well, Spence was unifying the belts and be trying to become undisputed, so maybe they gave him a pass. Or maybe he got the right connections. Either way, Terrence Crawford does not have the IBF belt, and it was given to Boots Ennis, and he is now the IBF champion at 147. I don't think Terrence Crawford... Listen, who else can Terrence Crawford fight at 147 pounds besides Boots? Let me know and drop it below who y'all want to see Terrence Crawford fight at 147 besides Boots. Exactly. So if he's not going to fight Boots, there's no point of him keeping any of the belts, actually. They should take all of them from him. Or he should just drop them. Why does he have them? Why does Devin Haney have them? Why are y'all... like? Listen, I'm not understanding. I'm, I'm, I've sat down. I've tried to think about it. And the only thing I can really think of is maybe leverage so we can, I can broker a deal for higher pay. But I don't think I need to do that. I don't need to physically be holding on or have the belts to do that. I've already won them. We should have did the Spence Crawford fight. Boom. Whoever the champion was, they either should have fought Boots to defend it. Or they should have dropped the belts and moved up. And we wouldn't have none of these issues. Nobody should have had to strip Terrence Crawford. He already said he wasn't fighting them. 
He's not fighting at 47 anymore, y'all. There's nobody left for Terrence Crawford to fight at 47 if he doesn't fight Boots. Right now, Boots is the number 147 pounder. So, for y'all to keep saying, he ain't for nobody, he don't deserve it, he didn't it. Please let me know and drop it below who Boots could have fought to deserve it. What, what else does Boots need to do to deserve it? If, if he cannot find a viable opponent... When nobody wants to fight him. The man didn't try to fight Keith Thurman a couple times. He don't want to fight him. The man that tried to fight Stan Ionis, he just dropped out the fight. He's not trying to duck, plot, plan, scheme. He not doing that. And y'all are come making it seem like that that's what he did to get this belt. Like he just strong-armed the IBF and bullied Terrence Crawford and them and was like, give me my shit. No, he didn't do that. He played his role. He fought his fights. He stayed in the background. He waited patiently for Crawford and Terrence to do, I mean, for Spence and Terrence to do whatever they needed to do. And honestly, if we honest, and this is no hate, if Terrence Crawford wasn't playing around so much with the negotiations, dragging out the fight, fighting Evanesian, and doing all of that, we would not be in this predicament. We would not be in this predicament. So I just want to hop on here real quick and give my two cents and say, Listen, I'm, I honestly do not understand what the uproar is about. Would it have been better if Ennis fought for the belt? Of course. Of course. It's always best to fight for a championship for this reason right here. Because people are going to want to discredit you. Just like they want to discredit Devin Haney. When Devin Haney defended the belts, he went and got more belts. I don't, I don't get it. Like, we got to stop this. Let's just, let's use basic, basic common sense, y'all. Tim Zhu got the belt. I wasn't in an uproar. I was like, well, he should have fought him. <laughs> Charlo should have fought him. Should have fought him. I mean, did he plan on coming? And that's the thing. They stripped him because they don't even know if Charlo plans on coming back down to 54. So they don't have time to be playing around with you, holding on to the belt. Let's get, let's do it. Let's get this man the belt so we can keep it moving and pushing throughout the division. So let me know what you think about Jerron Boots Ennis and the slander that's being thrown on his name because the IBF is following the rules with their belt by dropping your two cents below in the comment section. Be sure to help support the channel by punching that like and subscribe button. Follow me on IG at two cents 20 and I mean, follow me on IG at Two Cents Boxing and follow me on Twitter at Two Cents 20. And I'm Jay and stay tuned for my two cents in the next video. Peace.